नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग टेक्निक्स कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट बूस्टिंग इन बूस्टिंग वी ट्रेन डिफरेंट क्लासीफायर्स ऑन द सेम ट्रेनिंग डेटा एंड बूस्टिंग इज ऑल्सो अ टाइप ऑफ अनसम्बल टेक्निक इन बूस्टिंग वी फर्स्ट बिल्ड अ मॉडल ऑन द ट्रेनिंग डेटा सेट एंड देन द सेकेंड मॉडल इज बिल्ड टू रेक्टिफाई द एरर्स प्रेजेंट इन द फर्स्ट मॉडल Note that both of these models are built on the same data set. So we continue with this procedure until and unless the errors are minimized and the data set is predicted correctly. In particular, we start with a weak model and subsequently each new model is fit on a modified version of the original data set. The central idea here is to use a weak learner. and weak learner is a model that performs at least slightly better than a random model and as you know boosting is an iterative process where the training set is reweighted based on the mistakes of weak learner of the previous iteration there are two approaches to boosting one is adaptive boosting and second is gradient boosting these two approaches mainly differ as how they update the weight and how they combine the classifiers let's look at gradient boosting gradient boosting first makes a guess for y train and y test using the average of y train so we simply assign the training label to the point based on the average of the training label of the entire data set and for the test we apply the same label that we obtain by averaging on all the training data we calculate the residuals from the training data set using the following equation so r0 which is residual is calculated as y train minus y train q0 so this is like the the first the first estimator or first classifier or regressor that has given us some prediction and we calculate the residual error by subtracting that prediction from the actual value then we fit a weak learner to residuals to minimize the loss function let's call this weak learner as f0 so f0 takes x train 0 as the input and produces r0 we increment the predictions by adding alpha times the prediction of this weak learner and the test predictions we also add alpha times the prediction from the weak learner we repeat these steps until we reach the desired accuracy from the boosting or we reach the predecided boosting rounds let's look at another boosting technique which is called adaptive boosting or ada boost so ada boost also create strong classifiers from a number of weak classifiers which is the hallmark of the boosting methods ada boost uses a decision tree with one depth and that decision tree performs exactly one split such trees are called as decision stumps so stumps have one node and two leaves and are not expected to produce a good accuracy and hence the stumps are weak classifier multiple decision stumps are combined to make a strong classifier in ada boost it builds an initial model while giving equal weights to all the data points then as the boosting rounds progress it assigns higher weights to points that were misclassified in the previous round now all the points which have higher weights are given more importance in the next model in other words each model compensates the weakness of its predecessors in this way it will keep training the models the final model uses the weighted average of individual models so it works by putting more weight on difficult to classify instances and less on those that are already handled well ada boost algorithm can solve both classification and regression problems let's understand ada boost through a schematic so let's say this is our input data it has got two classes the square and circles the first model is able to separate these two circles from the squares and these are three misclassified points so for the next round what we do is we increase the weights of these points and what happens in the next round is 
these three points now get correctly classified but there are three squares that are misclassified. So we increase the weight of these three points and we get the third model which is misclassifying this particular circle. Now what we do is after completing three rounds of boosting we decide to stop and what we have is we have three different models and by combining these three different models, we learn a classifier with complex decision boundary. You can observe that M1, M2 and M3 in their own right are weak models. But together, they were able to classify these two classes very accurately. So let's see how the weights are calculated for misclassified points. We first calculate the performance of stump and we call it as alpha. It is calculated as half natural log of 1 minus total error divided by the total error. The total error is sum of weights of misclassified samples in the previous round and it is always between 0 and 1. Higher the value of alpha, better is the performance of stump. Alpha is used to update weights for the next model. So the weights are updated based on performance of the stump. For misclassified samples, the new weights are updated by multiplying the old weights by e raised to alpha. Whereas for correctly classified samples, we update the new weights by multiplying the old weights by e raised to minus alpha. Note that for misclassified samples, we assign higher weights than the correctly classified samples. In this video, we discussed about boosting which trains different classifiers on the same data and then combine the weak learners to make a strong learner. We studied couple of types of boosting, adaboost and gradient boosting.